Hey everybody, Dare Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship along Taiga Saiba's route. We are on chapter 2, When Our Skin Touches. I cannot wait to tame him. Well, I don't want to tame him, tame him. I like him to keep that certain amount of uh, aggressiveness about him and that dangerous air. I like feeling a little bit threatened. <laughs> so I hope he maintains some of that at least. But uh, yeah, I can tell he's a deep thinker and he's a little bit depressed and we want to help him feel better a little. So for that, we got to get closer. Let's see what we can do for him. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Later that night, a worried co-worker gave me a call. Sorry that I ditched work. Don't worry about it. It was by mistake that you had to come anyway. How are you feeling? I'm alright. I couldn't just tell her that Taiga forced a kiss on me anyway. Taiga was worried about you too. Really? Yeah, he said you weren't feeling well, but tried to work through it. He said that? Yeah, I talked to the chief about it. He was mad at first. Said you're too weak. He said since you came in, you should work to the end, even if it was your day off. Yeah, sorry. When he went to apologize to Taiga, I guess he was really worried about you. Yeah? He said it was his fault for making you work so hard. He's so nice, isn't he? <laughs> it was apparent that Taiga was covering for me for some reason. Because he's not as bad as he seems. But he's also not as nice as he seems. By the way, get this. I ran into Akira Senma the other day. So did I. She went on to gossip about other things, but I heard none of it. I was too busy thinking about why Taiga would have covered for me. I knew it. Just, what did he mean by that? I kept seeing his sad and gloomy face like it was burnt into my eyes. On the TV, I overheard Taiga's voice when he appeared on some variety program. Flipping the channel to something else, his face appeared advertising some makeup. Jeez, enough of him already! After switching off the TV, I crawled into bed. When I closed my eyes and tried to sleep, all I could think of was his kiss. I couldn't take it any longer. What the hell am I thinking? Grabbing the nearest pillow, I threw it and it bounced hard off the wall. It was terrible what he did to me, but I still couldn't stop thinking of it. I had let out an exhausted sigh when my phone started ringing with an unknown number. Who'd you get my number from, Taiga? Who could be calling me now? I shall answer, of course. I picked it up, thinking it would be someone calling about work. The phone beeped as I pressed the button to accept the call. Hello? You're slow. Taiga! I could tell by the grumpy voice that it was Taiga online. You're slow. Pick it up as soon as it rings. As always, he made ridiculous demands of me. I don't know your number. How was I supposed to know it was you? Stop with the excuses. <laughs> uh, you're the one you called, talk. A long silence endured where he said nothing at all. Hey. Y yes Say something. You called me! Huh? It seemed ridiculous for him to call and make me talk, but I didn't say that to him. Strangely enough, I wasn't angry at him either. How did you get my number anyway? I asked for it. From the chief? Yeah. Speaking of which, I have to thank you. That really made me happy. What did? I heard you covered for me. Damn it. A muffled curse came from the phone. Hmm? Here you have me worried, and I find out you're as happy as ever. Uh. Did you like my kiss that much? I don't even. You should be happy. I picked you for the day after tomorrow. Huh? Y you picked me? You better not keep me waiting. Come two hours early at least. Are you... I was cut off by an empty sound beeping from the phone. Just like that, he had hung up on me. Even so. Here you have me worried and I find out you're as happy as ever. So he worried about me after all. He wasn't as bad a person as he seemed. Plucking the pillow I had thrown off the floor, I squeezed it in my arms. Taiga! The next day, I was assigned to work with the singer Suwaru Oshima. <gasps> I'm dating you both at the same time! This is weird reading two routes at the same time. Are you going to be upset about, uh, Taiga bullying me? You did rescue me once already. Hey, aren't you... Yes, we met the other day. I'm Dirili D. I'll be taking care of you. It must be fate for us to meet like this again. I'm in your hands today. He gladly accepted my handshake, wrapping both around and clasping my right hand. 
Thankfully, it seemed I had been assigned to a decent person today. You're okay after this, right? What do you mean by that? After what? The Taiga Saiba. When Subaru suddenly said his name, it caught me off guard. What do you mean by okay? You look scared when I first saw you with him. Oh. To be perfectly honest, it had been a little frightening. Well, I'm hoping he didn't bother you after that. N no I'm fine. Good to know. There are all sorts of people in this industry. Meaning what exactly? Guys that take advantage of girls helping them do their job. After they're done with them, they throw them away like trash. It's terrible. You hear more and more about that sort of thing lately. Subaru cautioned me with concern in his eyes. I don't know your situation, but try to be careful, okay? I wasn't sure how to respond to that. Taiga isn't like that. I must defend his honor. Hmm? I surprised even myself by how loudly my voice came out when I protested. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you angry. He shook his head and hands in a sincere apology. It's not right for me to judge him when I know so little about him. Really? Yes? Your heart is so beautiful and pure. Deeply moved, he squeezed my hand. Uh... I should make a song about you, so the whole world can know about your kindness. R really If you aren't busy, maybe sometime we can grab a bite together. I... um... Shocked and surprised, I was at a loss for words. What's going on here? A deep voice called out from behind me. It was Taiga, trying hard to hide his displeasure. Not trying very hard, apparently. He trot toward us with a larger stride. Hey there, Taiga. We were just talking about you. Completely ignoring Subaru's talking, Taiga stepped up and pulled Subaru's hands away from mine. I'm going to need to borrow the really for a while. Is that alright with you? Um, sure, I guess. With his most friendly grin, Taiga smiled at him before pulling me away. He dragged me off to the studio without a word. Getting possessive already, huh? Taga led me into the waiting room and slammed the door behind us. Still holding my hand, he made a vexed face that said nothing. Uh... Say something! I spoke up to break the silence. Um, I'm with Subaru today. I'll be working with you tomorrow, not... Shut up. Taiga cast my hand aside and started to scratch his head. He walked back over to the chair and heaved his body onto it with a loud thud. We stared at each other in silence. Subaru's shooting would be starting soon, and I anxiously glanced at the clock. Um, I have to get back to Subaru soon. Taiga? He tapped his foot impatiently, but still wouldn't talk to me. I wasn't even sure what to do at this point. Are you expecting me to read your mind or something? Um... Go. Huh? I said go. None of this made any sense at all. Well then, excuse me, I'll see you tomorrow. Giving him a bow of courtesy, I reached and opened the door. I knew it. He muttered quietly, making me turn around. Hmm? You'd make that face for anyone. What face? You get all excited and blush when you hold hands. I was not all excited. Shut up. Don't talk back to me. His grumpy face took a turn for the worse. I hope you're ready for me tomorrow. Yep, I'm ready. The next day came, and I was fully prepared to deal with this trouble. However... Isn't the left camera too far off? He behaved wonderfully for the cameras, though his mood toward me was still nasty as usual. It seemed I had been worried for nothing. Hey, don't just stand there looking stupid. Yeah! He had sneaked up on me after finishing the shoot. My cheeks were being pressed between his hands. You're daydreaming again. Why do you even get paid for this? I'm sorry. I need new clothes. Get back to the room. He immediately left the studio and walked back to the waiting room. Are we in for some sexual harassment? I followed close behind to help him find clothes. The next scene would be set up like he was on a date with a girl. Will the girl model be late and I had to fill in? Hurry up. I still had to decide on what shoes he should wear, but it was hard with him rushing me. I had to decide between two pairs of shoes. Sneakers with dots, really? I wonder what he's really supposed to be wearing right now. Apparently, these things I pick are not to match the outfits that he's already wearing. I picked the sneakers since they looked cute. How about these? Polka dots. With this pattern, it's not too goofy looking. 
After a bit of thought, Taga grabbed the shoes out of my hands. Just then, there was a knock on the door. Taga, five minutes until the shoot. Okay, thanks. It's your fault for taking so long to pick. After switching back to his dark side to snap at me, Taga pulled off his shirt. I couldn't believe he was changing right in front of me. Why not? Models do that all the time. Taga slid off his shirt and was half naked in the blink of an eye. Can I see? Um... I frantically put my hands over my eyes and turned around. The hell? His cranky voice got out from behind. Tell me when you're done changing. Hey. Yes? I said hey. He yanked the hand covering my eyes away. Gah! Then, standing in front of me was Taiga wearing nothing but pants. I wish. Come on, they could give us a topless picture here. They did it for my butler. Come on, guys. When he saw my reaction, a sinister smirk grew across his face. Let me guess, you've never seen a naked man before. Uh, a grimace peeled back on his lips. So, you've never done it either. My ears and head blushed red and fumed with heat. The other day must have been your first kiss, too. Oh god, why do I have to be a virgin? N no His face crept closer and closer to mine. Look at how cute you are when you blush. Having never been told that before, my cheeks flushed more red than ever. When he stroked his cold fingers across my cheek, it sent a ripple down my spine. Damn, it makes me want to spoil you. His touch slid down my neck to my collar. N no stop it! I shoved him away with all my strength. Enough. I won't stop this time. It'll only take a few minutes. An evil smile crept across his face as he pushed me to the ground. What? Still wearing nothing but pants, he climbed over my body and straddled me. Well, apparently he's not planning on doing too much if it's only going to take a few minutes. My arms pushed down. I couldn't even put up resistance. Stop! You pushed me away twice now. Not again. He was blushing again. He closed in and pressed his lips against mine. Ugh! <laughs> That's your second kiss. Just a hair's breadth away, his lips formed a cruel smirk. This will be the third. With that, he forced his lips on top of mine yet again. Mm. His lips pressed so hard against mine that I couldn't breathe. Mm. No! You want it. You know it. I gasped for breath when he finally broke away. It wasn't long until he attacked again. A warm sensation invaded my mouth and twisted around. My mind yelled at me to make him stop, but I couldn't resist. All I had to do was push him away again. One of my hands was free, so it wasn't like I couldn't. You. Something must have been wrong with me. His lips, his attack, part of me didn't want it to end. My reason melted to the warmth of his tongue in my mouth. That's better. Instead of a cruel face, he stared into my eyes with sincerity. I was overwhelmed by how handsome he appeared so suddenly. He stopped kissing and gently licked the side of my lips. You've finally calmed down, have you? <sighs> Looks like you haven't had enough, though. He pushed his lips against my neck and ran them along my nape. N no! My entire body convulsed by the sensation of warmth caressing my neck. No, don't lie. You know it feels good. N no, it doesn't. The look on your face says otherwise. What? I see it in your eyes. You're begging for it. That's not true. You be quiet. His lips dove into me to keep me from talking. <laughs> and that's the face I'm talking about. His face danced in my vision as I started to get dizzy. Taiga, please! Not here! So, you want to, but somewhere else? That's not what I meant. I won't let you say no to me. The look on his face mesmerized me. It was as if all of a sudden, all my muscles refused to move. Those eyes of his did it, those lonely, gloomy eyes. It wasn't fair. No matter what he did to me, I would forgive him if he had those eyes. He was an arrogant, selfish man who cared nothing about me, so why was I so unwilling to stand up against him? Why was I unable to hate him? Once again, his lips brushed against my skin. The sensation against my neck gave me chills and put goosebumps all over. Mm. And then, knock knock, someone wrapped their knuckles on the door. Knock knock. 
This time, the knock was louder. Taiga, shooting is about to start. Instead of stopping, his lips kept crawling across my skin. T Taiga! Taiga! His hand moved to my shirt and began undoing the buttons. What the hell, man? Please, enough! You better be quiet or someone will hear you. As he pulled away my shirt, I could do nothing to resist it. Taiga? <laughs> Damn it. When he glanced at my face, he suddenly stopped altogether, making a surprised face. What did he see that made him stop? Just then, something cold ran across my cheek and to my ear. I had been crying. It had happened without my being aware of it. Taiga, I'm coming in. Crap. He quickly rose and strode to the door. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. With the door cracked open, he spoke to the shooting staff. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were changing. Yeah, I'm sorry it's taking a while to pick something out. We'll be waiting then. I'll be there soon. He shut the door and threw on his shirt as if nothing had happened at all. I hurried to button my shirt back up again. As I sluggishly stood back up, Taga threw something right at me. Gah! I heard the door shut behind him the same time it hit me. He had thrown a small white towel at me. Even after that, I still couldn't hate him. Nope, I certainly don't either. Cause we're both working on each other and I know it. Alright, so the next episode will be Taiga's photo shoot, although I am quitting for the night, so this will be another day. Hope to see you there or on one of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.